What's up guys, it's Kidowski and welcome back to another video. And in this video, this is going to be a top 5 Skyrim since I enjoyed Skyrim really much. So I thought I'd do some videos on Skyrim myself. And this is going to be the top 5 enemies in Skyrim. So if you like me doing the top 5 mm, top lists, make sure you leave a like. And also I've got a new thing opened on Streamlabs where you can donate to me. There's a link in the description, especially on streams. I advise you to do it then because that's when it will pop up. So let's get into the video. So for this first one we have the Draugr. Draugr are undead Nords and that have to guard these tombs from intruders, that's why they come alive and try to get you. So I like Draugr's for the way they look and you get so many different types of Draugr's. Ones that use magicka, ones that just fight you and they all look cool half the time because they don't have like set stuff. So, also another reason why I like Draga is that they're everywhere and they just pop up when you need them. So, well, when you need them, when you least expect it. Really, they're just all around, really, in places. You never know where they're going to be, they could be here, they could be there, and then you just fight them. And my favourite type of jogger would have to be the Draugr Death Lords. So let's get into the next one. So for this one there's not much to say, it's just a frost troll. I love the frost troll since it's like got the white coat and you just fight it and it hits you but it's also weak to fire which makes it very fun if you're using fire because you can defeat it really easy and these guys are a pain in the ass for some people at the start of the game. So that's it for this one basically. So let's go. Right. For this one, we have the giant mammoth. Mammoths are cool because they're just big creatures and they're mostly friendly unless you go up and hit them so or go too close to them. And they, they work with their giants. They always defend their giants. They never go away from them and they just let them stay there and they will help their giant until they die. So these things can be hard to kill or easy to kill. So advise you to equip some healing or something, healing potion to help you. So let's go on to the next one. At the number two spot we have the giant himself. The giant is mostly peaceful characters unless you get too close and they are very OP. They have so high attack damage if they slam the ground and you're near them, you're definitely going to die. There's really nothing you can do, you should just accept your fate and die. But, if you want to, you can poke around at these guys, smack them in the ass with like Daedric swords like I do, but you're pr probably still going to die. And, you're just friendly creature that guard each other. If you hit one, the other one will know and they'll go help. Just like how the mammoths do it to each other. The mammoths will also protect the giant. So let's get on to my, the final spot. At the number one spot, probably could have guessed it, it's dragons. So I love dragons, just the way that they look and the way that they attack you. And, Absorbing their soul at the end 
is amazing. Especially my favourite dragon, I would say, would have to be, obviously, Alduin. Just look at me, all these spikes and everything up there. And this is the best scene ever of him just raising the dragon. You see it slowly become a real dragon. And dragons are just awesome. They're hard for some people, but they're still fun. To attack, and they look cool. So, anyway guys, that's it for today, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!